about to film my husband stinging himself with a hornet, because that's got to be a good idea. Ah! Jeez, it gotcha. This better be rolling. And they're bumping into you, and sometimes they sting you on the hand. Ah! Ah! We are good. It's going, doing its thing. Yeah, you, oh. you don't have to. Ah! You just got under my glasses in my eye. Ball. I am going to attempt today to do a time lapse of the European hornet building their nest. Earlier in the month, I, I discovered this giant hornet nest behind me. And I've never seen one of these giant European hornet nests before. So I was just excited. I got to see the whole thing being built. Um, I am going to share with you today a couple of things. Uh, one is everything you need to know about the European hornet. And two, I'm gonna show you my attempts to try to exterminate the nest from my neighbor's yard because they don't want it there. And I've always wondered how bad they sting. I've been stung by a lot of things. But I've never been stung by the European hornet. There is a high likelihood I may get stung. I will say that. I'm excited about this. I don't know about you, but I'm like super excited about this. Okay, let's get started. I live in a little house in Charlotte, North Carolina, which I bought for the yard, and I make sure I have lots of insect diversity here. One thing I've noticed here is that people take for granted the wasps. My video here is centered around this tree and the European hornets living in the middle of the ash tree. But it's also a great chance for me to explain some of the basics of wasps and hornets. So here's a short overview of why they're so cool. All around you are hymenopterans. That's the bees, wasps, sawflies, and ants. There are 12,000 species of ants, which is a lot, but there are well over 100,000 species of wasps. It's insane. For instance, every one of the thousand species of tropical fig trees has its own specific fig wasp. I'll do a story on those in the future. Now, wasps can be either solitary, like this tarantula hawk I filmed earlier in the month, killing a spider and dragging it back to its den, or they can be social, like a lot of the wasps I find around my property. Right up there, that's a paper wasp nest. This paper wasp is eusocial. It means they don't do it all on their own. They're actually here together, raising the young from a single queen. And of course, exactly how they do that differs from species to species. Paper wasps like this chew up insects like caterpillars and then bring them back to the nest and feed them to the developing larvae. It's really neat, especially because you can see it in a nest like this if you just stop and look. By the way, these wasps sting it, they would actually hurt a lot, but I don't worry about them. Uh, I'm not wearing a whole lot of protection right at the moment because I don't really need it. I only really need it when you're dealing with very aggressive wasps. And these ones aren't. Okay, now to the European hornets. With the European hornets over in the ash tree though, I'm taking a different approach. And that's because there are a lot more in the hive. And I'm going to kind of mess it up a little bit so that I can capture them building it back. So let's get to it. Scott's got the nest in his yard. What, um, what do you think? Have you been over to look at it yet? No, <laughs> I don't like wasps, but I'm letting you take control of that. I'm ready now. Yeah. I'm ready. August is gonna help. Uh, yeah, and Leo's gonna watch over there. If anything starts to go crazy, you just get inside, okay? Yeah, okay. Okay. So here's the plan. We are going to go up to the nest. I'm gonna first take some video and then I'm gonna to try to chop out the nest and we'll see if they rebuild it back. This is exhausting and we are all exhausted. Are you exhausted? Yes, yeah, everybody's, everybody's exhausted. I get it, so we're gonna do this quick. All right, your uh, thing open over there? The European hornets here that I'm attempting to get some shots of are not native to the US. They came from Europe in the 1800s. I feel like I'm exposed on my midriff. <laughs> and unless you count the famous giant Asian hornets, also known as the incorrectly dubbed murder hornets, they're the only true hornet we have in North America. Hornets are known for being highly carnivorous. They eat meat, that's mostly other insects, but they'll forage on lots of protein sources. They need this for their developing larvae. Definitely more coming out now. Yeah? Yep. Coming out in this steady stream. Uh-oh, there's one on the GoPro. They're over here. Mind you, a single individual can mobilize the entire nest by secreting an attack pheromone. It seems like now that was definitely in the air. They're over here. If you want to step back, you can, honey. 
Well, if I step back, I certainly won't be able to get any footage. At this point, they were all getting pretty upset and I didn't know how big the colony was. I knew some colonies can get to 700 individuals. Definitely more coming out now. Coming out in this steady stream. Oh yeah, it's uh, a little nerve wracking. I was also aware that these hornets can inject a powerful venom that has large amounts of acetylcholine, which is a chemical that acts as a neurotransmitter. I'll show you what happens with the sting I did on myself later. Generally, that makes it fairly painful for humans. Now, I wasn't exactly sure what the European hornet sting did, but I knew their cousin, the giant Asian hornet, has an extremely venomous sting and is responsible for 30 to 50 deaths a year. Yikes. At this point, I wanted to see in the nest, maybe get a glimpse of the queen. I want to see what it's like inside this hive. I think you're about to. I couldn't exactly see her, though. She seemed to be deep inside another crevice. This particular building style is very typical of European hornets. And this is when I got the first sting. Oh, got me. I'll let this roll for a second. Let me know how many you think are actually in this hive. God, you can step back, honey. Well, I mean, I am back. I'm on the other side of the fence, but I think you're about to. Oh! You're me all over. Yeah. They definitely don't like this. I'll tell you that. Now to break up the hives so that I could hopefully, in time lapse, film them as they built it back. Again, I'm doing this only because they're invasive here in the US. If I was doing this in, say, Germany, <laughs> that would be highly illegal. They are protected there. I could get a fine of 50,000 euros just for destroying the nest. It's like weird it seems to fall into the category of what not to do. Remind me next time I'm going to make sure I'm fully protected. I got a little, I got some gaps. <laughs> <laughs> now to set up the cameras. This is by far the most stressful type of time-lapse setup. There are lots of settings I usually check, but with some exposed parts of my skin, I definitely was getting a little nervous. I couldn't leave without giving a recap here in the tree. All right, so here, here's the hive. They're really not as bad as they look. They look really bad. Like this looks really bad and they're bumping into you. And sometimes they sting you on the hand, but it's not really that bad. Although, I'm worried about... Ah! <laughs> oh, they, keep, they keep getting... It's totally... Ah! Sorry. Sorry Did he get you? Yeah. So anyways, here's, here's the thing. They got a hive right in there. I chopped it out. And um, now I'm going to... We're going to see if they rebuild it back fairly quickly. Uh, get off of me! <laughs> it's like kind of tickles a little bit. Uh, wow, look at all those bees. Oh, are those hornets? I can't even talk. Wow. What do you, what do you think, Scott? <laughs> Better you than me. <laughs> I'm like kind of shaking a little bit. And here are the time lapses. Now, I'm not sure exactly what's happening, but maybe you can spot something. One thing I know is European hornets typically build their nests in crevices, and then often will cover that with a paper-like structure. So I cut away the paper-like structure, hoping that I could see them build it back. But after three days, they didn't build it back. So at least in this case, we know they don't build it back right away. But the last thing we needed to do was officially catch a hornet. I wanted to capture its sting in slow motion and as a byproduct, figure out exactly where it lies on the sting scale because I could not find it anywhere. They're rebuilding for sure. Are they? I didn't see any in the time lapse. Got one. I knew there had to be something else. We'll see what happens when the sting goes in. 
So we set up the camera with the Macro Pro Blends, which I love, shooting in 4K slow-mo because I wanted to capture the action of the Sting. Unfortunately, the GoPro, which I was attempting to use to film behind the scenes, completely went out. So as I grabbed it with my bare fingers, uh, well, let me just play the audio. Ah! Well, it got ah! me. there it goes. Oh my gosh, it just like, it just, it like, to liquid too. Jeez, it gotcha. This better be rolling. Note to self, in the future, use forceps. It hurts a lot on your thumb. Stung me on the thumb trying to pick it up. And now equipped with the right gear, we set up for the sting on my forearm. Now inside the abdomen there is a stinger. It's not like a honeybee's. It can sting you multiple times. I had never seen it work. So watch carefully how this yeah, happens. Go down with it, okay? Okay, let me back it up. This is even slower. It was like a pressurized needle. It was amazing. Oh boy. There's like a tiny little blood. There's a tiny little blood on there too. One little dot where it got you. Oh, that's not good. I think it's worse on the forearm, I'll be honest. Well, it, that's like really, sensitive skin it's like thinner Look skin at it though man it's like bleeding no i know i will say do not try this at home unless you know that you're not allergic to these because if you're allergic to bee stings you could go to the hospital right away from something like this i i had already been stung a few times so i knew i wasn't going to react and i had read this interesting study that if you get stung enough times you can start to become immune to the venom so i thought i would test that out so i hope you learned something about european hornets pretty cool I think um, big shout out to my wife Haley for doing this because this is somewhat dangerous um, but it turned out totally okay if you want to see more of what we're doing here on Stone Age Man make sure you subscribe hit the notification bell leave a comment what you think about this video we have more coming up oh and Haley and I have a new book out one of which includes how to deal with um, things like these hornets do you have oh, anything you yeah. want to say uh not really, I just dream come true. Hey, guess what? There's a bunch of there's a bunch of stinging beasts in our backyard. Let's go take care of that. <laughs> High five! High five! Uh, I'm so tired. Okay. See you next time. Next time. You owe me. I owe you big. Owe I do. Yes. <laughs>